Today, let's talk about the seven spokes of Zig Ziglar's Wheel of Life. Zig Ziglar has spent his entire life studying personal development and doing his best to teach it and present it and show everyone how to make their lives better. I want to reflect on these seven spokes to help you in your personal development journey. I hope we both learned something. Let's go. Zig Ziglar talks about the physical, the mental, and the spiritual. This is a true trifecta that we all have heard of and we all know, but how much do we really consider what they mean? Quickly, I think it's fairly straightforward. Physical is the body. We're talking about how your health, your longevity, and your diet. I think a lot of people underappreciate that. So much of us are run by hunger, making ourselves happy with food that we really don't consider how detrimental that can be. So measuring the physical is always important. The mental. The mental is about mindfulness and self-awareness. You need to understand that your thoughts are not yours. They come from your subconscious and they're not always true. You need to discredit them sometimes and especially in times when you're depressed or not up for it, the mind can be a massive enemy. So really understanding how it works and what you're trying to achieve around it is incredibly important. And then you have the spiritual. Spiritual is one of the most metaphysical things to explain. It's very hard. Just imagine this. Your mind can know what it wants. Your body can know what it wants. And yet your spirit can still be unsatisfied in those two things. That's because the spirit actually knows what, you know, what you're going to do. It's, you know, it's the wind in your sails. It really decides where you're going, but the mind decides and the body brings you there. The mind makes a bad decision and, or the body gets you into a bad place. Your spirit is what tells you that you're going in the wrong direction. I think it's why it can cause us so much turmoil. You know, most spiritual things are emotional based. And once we understand that and we segment to there, we can really start to have a positive effect on our spiritual journey as well as our mental journey and our physical. Now, those three are basic, and many people have talked about them before to their own variation. But he has four other principles that are also very important to think of once you've put those first three in order. Next is your social. Who you hang around with will be who you become. It's as simple as that. We have mirror neurons. We are a tribal species. You can never underappreciate the fact that if you are in a room and four people are doing something, your mind and body are going to want to do that or you're going to feel awkward. That is so important to know. You need to be around people who are in the same direction as you, otherwise you're battling upstream. So really consider the both personal and your social, your social situation. Next is career or job. I really like to think of that more as contribution. It wasn't until recently where we weren't actually working on farms. We all had work because it's how we lived. Well, now we work to live and it's a little different, but you can tell that work is something that's very old in us. We know what it means to work. We know what it means to have that sense of duty. Well, now that it's not food and hunting and gathering or survival, it can be very hard to find something where the contribution is fulfilling. And for a lot of jobs, it just isn't. And that's not a bad thing. It's amazing that modern technology has gotten rid of so many things that made our lives hard that most of the jobs that we have are really not required, but merely make life more convenient and allow us to provide an income for ourselves and our family to move forward. Well, if the career itself isn't doesn't have a grander contribution, it needs to be interesting. And if you're not interested in it, you need to find out what you are interested in and go after that. Because I promise you, if you are not satisfied in your work, you will never feel like you're truly contributing. And life is very difficult when most of your time is spent there and it doesn't feel like it's worth it. Don't ever underestimate your career and how it contributes to your overall satisfaction and fulfillment. Next is family, and I know it must sound crazy to list the seven and family is the sixth, but up until this point, we've been entirely talking about ourselves. You know, the only thing we can actually control, 
We can't control the people around us. We can't control the environment around us. Yes, we can control where we are. But once you have a family, even that's really limited. So you really need to heed that family is vitally important, but it is outside of you. And if you don't get those first five boxes checked hard, it's going to be very hard to satisfy the family needs because you won't be fulfilled within yourself. And it makes it incredibly difficult to be there for someone else when you're half full. And last is financial. To be honest with you, let's just call that time. Let's call that options and let's call that freedom. Too many people have a nasty taste in their mouth when it comes to money. And I completely understand why between how we're raised and how it's viewed and all the negative bias we seem to have on money. And I've never fully understood why. I mean, that's not true. I hear the story and it makes sense, but it isn't true. So it doesn't feel right. However, if you are not paying attention to your financial plan, it is not going to happen either way. You will squander all your money away trying to fulfill your family, your personal, your spiritual, your mental, and your physical needs. That's why financial is last. Finances won't actually solve any of them. They may give you the time to work on them, but most people are not going to have financial freedom without a true dedication to that goal specifically. So what we're going to do is we're going to be fulfilled regardless of how much we make. We're going to be... Re we're going to try to be fulfilled regardless of what our job is. And we're always going to keep moving forward and keep pressing on. I think it's vitally important that you take the time to think about each one of these. Give them a score on 1 to 10 of satisfaction. No, let's do 1 to 5. It doesn't even need to be that complex. Take the time, go grab a pen and pencil, and let's go down and do 1 through 5. And when you're all said and done, you look at that score, Circle the fives and write down everything that makes those fives. And then circle the ones and make a list of everything that makes those ones. Perfect. We have a baseline plan for personal development. We have started our min-max approach. We know what we like and we know what we like about it. We're going to do everything we can to enhance that. And now we don't like and we also know what we don't like about it. And that's where it gets fun. That's where the creativity comes in, and that's where the gaming comes in. We're going to do whatever we can to remove those and play them so they only work for us or they're irrelevant. Please take the time to leave a comment, ask questions, tell me what you think. If there's anything confusing about this, let me know. Thank you guys for joining me. I would really appreciate it if you subscribe to my channel. I'm doing my best to make personal development easy and... I believe that you want to be a better person. I believe we all want to be a better person. And I don't think it needs to be hard. I think life is a struggle, whether you have $1 or $1 million. But personal development is a lifelong journey of self-discovery. So, thank you for joining me. And let's go.